Hello and welcome back. So now in this video we are going to understand uh, another example of uh, uh, HTML and CSS experiments and this is actually a, 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 a split screen. It means generally we have a full screen landing page but this is also a kind of landing page but which contains a two parts of uh, a split screen. Okay, you can divide it into uh, two pieces. Okay. So it affects like this uh, when I hover here. So first of all, it exactly uh, taken a space of half and half. Uh, when you hover on it, so it, 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 it expands like this. And when you hover here, this one. So whichever the product you're trying to purchase, you can just keep a hover and click on buy or uh, this one. Okay, so this is the effect. Okay, so let's make this video now. Uh, so if you don't want to miss this type of interesting video, so please do subscribe to my channel Okay, so let's start now um, I have Once again, yep, so I have reader open so let's create a folder um, Directory 03 hyphen uh, split Split landing. Uh, in this, I'm using two images. Sorry. Uh, in this, I'm using two images. So I have uh, brought those images here. These two, two watches. So let me just copy this image folder. Keep it in this folder. Once again, I'll go here, I'll copy this images and I'll uh, paste it. Okay, done. So I have two images. Fine. Now let's, I need to have one uh, HTML that is index and I need one style sheet that is style.css. Okay. Uh, I don't need JavaScript in this video, uh, just HTML and CSS is enough. So for HTML, I'll connect. So link. Uh, style.css and let's change the title so split uh, landing okay so let me open this in a browser I can start using using the live server we have live server you can start otherwise uh, you can uh, just open with the normal browser okay just right click and open with browser okay just a HTML I think you know uh, how to open the browser right yeah so now the structure to make these two is this is uh, there are two it's like a two landing pages um, what I do is I'll create one container so in this I create the left panel the, the, the left side hide uh, uh, image and in that I have dot left uh, wrapper this wrapper so this wrapper is actually for uh, this, uh, you know, shaded background color, okay? And uh, in this dot left uh, content, so in this I have H3, let's say something called watch1, okay? Or you can write the name, okay? Mont blank, that's the name. okay and you have a button with a class called btn and let's say by now okay and h3 i'll give a class called heading okay so this is the left panel and let's copy the same for the right panel so i write here and this will be the right and uh, this is right wrapper and this is right content and this name will be uh oh, blood okay fine so we made a, a simple structure for html and you can see this looks like this and uh, we need to convert this uh, using the css to this okay so let's start so i have connected my style sheet so i'll go here so first of all i say star margin 0 I remove the margin and padding for all the elements okay and the font so I'll say uh, font family is uh, Calibri 
and um, yeah and these two guys to be side by side not like one after the other so dot container the the topmost uh, uh, class that is container in this i'll say display flex if i say flex it will display in a flex a row okay fine and then the the left panel uh, will will focus on a uh, the left panel so i say dot left in this i need to have a background uh, this white and url image folder slash watch one and no repeat and scroll and center okay it is like this and uh, i say background size is cover okay it's covered but how much it's width some 50% because half of the screen and also the height should be 100 viewport height vh yes so it has taken a half of your screen size okay and then uh, i don't need see uh, this is the real image on top of that there is some shade has come right that's called wrapper okay so this wrapper is having some transparent background color okay this way i think you can understand right yeah so how you get that is you can select the color that is some rgb okay let's give this color of um uh, it's called uh, uh, transparent so that will be dot left uh, wrapper dot left wrapper i'll give a background color this one uh, but if i say rgb and uh, i'll give the height 100 percent see the image has gone right because this is just a color but i want to be a transparent color because i want to see the image as well so that's called rgba uh, some 0 0.6 i'll give see this is the transparent color and you can see the image as well so now it looks good okay fine and what about this content this content to be somewhere in the center right so that will be dot left uh, content so this one i'll say display again flex box okay and uh, not the row flex uh, column because i want to display one after the other so let's say flex uh, direction is uh, column okay and i have to keep that at the center so i write justify content center and also align items center and uh, i say text align also center and the height i'll say 100 uh, percent okay so it came exactly center of this particular part of uh, your division and uh, let's also make this heading but this heading is common here and here because the heading classes are common see here heading and button and here also heading and button so i'll uh, I'll give it somewhere at the top because it's common right so heading I'll say the font size something 4m okay and what about the color so I say the color white and uh, let's give some text shadow text shadow just like a box shadow 0 0 uh, some 5 pixels and black so like this this is the shadow for the text okay it will highlight your text okay and then uh, the button uh, it's a class name called uh, dot btn dot btn i'll say first background to be transparent okay i need to have a border border just two pixels solid and white and the color has to be white just say color white and uh, let's increase the font size so font size some um, one rem uh, sorry one rem okay and let's give what happened yeah let's give uh, padding padding around um, some 10 pixels and 25 pixels 
okay fine so this is the left part and same like this we need to have a right side part so what you have done for dot left it is like this <coughs> let's copy paste it and this will be for dot right uh, that image goes to be this one yeah the second image but I want to have this highlight color is different so let's check the highlight color is this color I'll uh, copy the RGB value um, here right wrapper background color is this one so RGB a comma uh, 0.6 okay you got it but uh, height was not there let's add a height yes it is applied and what about this guy uh, this is common right display flex and all so comma dot write content both the contents same location is like this okay so now we made this part okay somewhat uh, font size is bit less that's fine no problem um, so when I keep a cursor it should makes the bigger size and even the text also to be bigger so what I do is dot left um, colon hover then what should I do is uh, the width I want to increase see uh, the left panel is having a width of come on the left panel is having the width of 50% right so I just want to make it as a somewhat 90% okay so you check it is like this okay but still um, there is no smooth transition uh, you need to have a smooth transition dot left let's say transition mm, all uh, 0 0.5 seconds and is in out okay so that you can see the smooth transition okay and also I need to increase the uh, the text the heading size so I'll say dot left uh, colon hover then then dot left uh, content I want to increase to uh, transform scale uh, some 1.3 comma 1.3 okay it will scale it scale is fine but it's not again tra non transition let's say dot left uh, come on dot left to content also transition so it will be like this okay that's fine and uh, I'll do like this comma dot right also same story and dot write uh, content also same transition and what about these two let's make it for write as well so this will be write over and this will be write over and write content okay um, let's check now let's refresh so I keep a cursor is here and keep a cursor is here uh, that's all fine but one problem is you can see there is one you know in the bottom uh, there is a, a scrolling and here also there is a scrolling if you don't want to have this scrolling um, you can go to the body section let's say overflow x is hidden and overflow y is hidden so wherever x axis or y axis if it is overflown it will be hidden okay so now you check there is no scroll bars over left and right okay so when you keep a cursor see first of all it's like this 50 50 if I keep a cursor it will be uh, like this you know purchase this one or this one okay so that's nice and uh, for the button you wanna have any uh, cursor pointer you can just simply say cursor pointer for the button so that's it so now check it will be like this or like this okay if you don't keep it will be like this okay so that's all enough for this video uh, if you don't want to miss this type of interesting videos please do subscribe to my channel and let's meet in the next video with another concepts thank you